What's up, you guys? Prince Flasher here, uh, back again with another with another Clash of Clans video, and uh, today we're going to be doing a war video. And um, as you guys can see, we're against Pinot Lupin, uh, Pinot Lapin, Lupin. That means rabbit in French. <laughs> I know I'm really good at French. <laughs> Just kidding, I suck at French. Uh, but anyways, I used my first attack, and I actually failed. I mean, not really failed, but I only got one star, so that's a fail for me. Um, but let's try to get three stars on our second attack. Um, and I've trained Goho. Um, that's my comp, and uh, with three heals, one jump, and one poison, and get a poison uh, in my clan castle and a golem, a max golem. And uh, let's go attack this guy and try to get three stars. As you guys can see, I don't have my queen, so I'm going pretty low, and also because I suck. So <laughs> I'm just kidding. Alrighty, so this base is pretty under leveled. As I said before, I I suck, so I'm just gonna try to three star this guy. Um, so I'm gonna drop my golems. Uh, beautifully place those wizards behind them. Uh, my vault breakers are going in. Are they gonna clear the? Are, are they gonna blow it up? Yes, they are. But I'm gonna drop a jump spell there because I thought they wouldn't make it. Um, but they made it, so that's pretty good. Um, gonna drop both of my poison spells there, trying to slow those uh, dragons and those balloon. And I'm gonna drop my hogs surgically, so I don't drop them all in one place. I spread them all around the base, so they don't get they don't all get like bunched up. Uh, so they don't they, they don't get blown up by double giant bombs or some shit like that. Cause I didn't watch the replay done by my clanmates before this, cause I was in a hurry, I think. So. Uh, Alright, so now my hogs are going in, uh, they're all alive almost, and I, uh, actually, I, I don't think I need to use my heal spell, alright, we're gonna do this without the heal spell, alright, okay, so my hogs are, okay, shit, I need to drop the, oh, fuck, shit, I almost lost that raid, if I, god damn it, if my wizard's right, okay, I didn't fail the raid, I wouldn't have I failed the raid even if the, um, John Bob killed my wizards, but I got really scared. And now the last of the Hog Rider survives. The Harry Potters are gonna clear the barracks. The barracks, yeah, they're, they're putting the spells on those gold collectors. They're gold diggers. The gold diggers. And the last of the Hog Riders is gonna swirl his hammer on his small piggy all around the base. He's gonna destroy the barracks. Boom. 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 He's just destroying shit right now, and if I sound like kind of weird right now, it's um, it's because it's 1 a.m. right now, and I'm supposed to be sleeping, but I'm not. But anyway, it's a three star, um, good raid. I mean, not really good, but uh, it's okay. Okay, I'm not that good at Goho. I'm just experimenting. So let's see. All right, so we have seven hours for the war to go and get the get my car star and um, I'm gonna be showing a couple of more raids, uh, 3 star raids on Tunnel 9 so this raid is gonna be more of like a Tunnel 9 strategy guide for war I'm not gonna be featuring the Tunnel 10s cause those guys are just too dope for me uh, but anyways let's see another attack a 3 star raids. these are all 3 star um, attack strategies uh, for Tunnel 9 so if you're a Tunnel 9 looking for a good strategy this is a video for you Alright, uh, so I'm gonna show this uh, attack by Slayer 118. Um, he's gonna be using Go Laloon uh, with 13 balloons actually, and uh, I, I use more balloons, but let's see, he got a 3 star on this almost max base, better than me. <laughs> so let's see how he does it. He's gonna drop his golems, um, provide a good funnel for his heroes. Um, his wizards and his heroes and his golems are going into the middle where. He destroyed the wall compartment with his earthquake spells. Now, earthquake spells are way better than jump spells, especially in Gola Loon. Uh, as you can see, his king is about to die, but he doesn't die. He runs away from the dragons and the blue. He runs away again. He runs away again. He survives. He runs away again. <laughs> and now he dies. Uh, actually, the kill squad died pretty fast, but as you can see, the air defenses are really close to each other. So the queen's gonna be able to do work on uh, those defense. She's gonna lock onto the town hall, uh, probably take it out soon. Uh, the golem's gonna almost take out that air defense. Uh, yeah, he just exploded. He's the golem's dead. The the go the golemites are dead. The queen's locked onto the second air third air, air defense, and she actually took out three air defenses. So 
there's only one air defense that uh, Slayer needs to worry about, so he's gonna drop two of his uh, Lava Hounds there, and uh, put some Balloons there, not like put everything there, he's gonna just put a few, this is what you do with Golalu, you don't just spread your Balloons at, on one side, you surgically deploy them just as I did with my Hogs, so they don't get bunched up at uh, one position. As you can see, the raid is looking pretty good right now, uh, the Balloons are going in, The his Lava Hounds are still alive. <laughs> God, uh, the balloons are going in. The lava hounds are still alive, uh, and um, there are only a few air, def like uh, air towers left, which can actually tr uh, target air troops. The mo the cannon can, of course. Uh, the cannon is actually quite dangerous to air troops. Really high health against um, air troops, so you should fear the cannons when you're doing an air attack, because the cannon will wreck you. The seeking ermine is gonna explode the lava hand, which gonna give birth to lava pups, and those little sneaky guys just gonna get the three star along with the slow ass balloons. As you can see, they're tearing through this base, and uh, they're gonna pick up the three star no problemo. So this is like a variation in my clan: three lava hounds and thirteen balloons only, and it works out pretty well. And as you can see from this raid, and um, now I'll just be back once the war ends, and let's see if we won or not. Um, and I'll be back. All right, so we're back. We won 103 to 92. Uh, there was a good war. To, we got like uh, the maximum amount of XP. I got good loot. And let's check out another attack. Um, a tunnel nine three star attack. It's on a pretty popular base. Okay, now this base is pretty popular on the internet. On the internet, and you can find a, uh, if you find like tunnel nine ba good bases, anti three star. This is they, they call it an anti three star bases. But my boy Hopper's gonna show you guys how it's not a three star strategy. And, oh God, what the hell am I saying? How it's not a three star? How it's not a three star base? Anti three star base. All right, so he's gonna drop three golems uh, with his wizard on the back, of course, and um, he's he's gonna attack from the top right hand side uh, with go wipe uh, and uh, almost 10 hog riders hog riders <laughs> and uh, he's gonna drop his queen his queen is pretty high level 20 that's good uh, as you can see he broke into the wall compartment but that's not gonna redirect his troops into the uh, middle of the base now look at that I was scared that his queen might have died there because in my last video I remember the queen died like th that way but now as you can see it's like a perfect funnel for his hog riders to go inside he doesn't use a heal spell there because i think he just wanted to take out that expo as you can see he could have used a heal spell there okay he uses a heal spell okay i was wrong uh but he used a heal spell right now and that's gonna help the hog riders take the tesla out uh, which is not gonna help a lot but it'll def it, def it definitely helps he dropped a jump spell there, uh, which was it, which was it placed really good, uh, but it was still okay. That it didn't help much, but he didn't need it anyway. So, all right. So now his, he has a golem alive. The expo is locked down to the golem, not to the queen, which is which is what he exactly needed. He has two of his golems up, his Pekka, and this this raid is pretty much a three star. There is nothing much left to it. Uh, the the expo level one expo could do shit against it uh, and the same thing applies for a high level high level base uh, the same strategy all right so that was a three star and this is how you beat this overly popular overrated anti three star base all right so that was it for this video guys uh, I hope you liked it give it a thumbs up if you did let's collect all that loot oh god oh that feels so good oh my god uh, but anyways, I'll uh, see you guys later, and as always, keep it real.